Welcome to the apocalypse. Just kidding. But we're going to pretend like the apocalypse just happened and we are going to find shelter. Now, of course, I don't mean a literal apocalypse with like zombies and aliens and stuff like that, but I'm talking about like the collapse of society. If internet went out right now, 80% of the businesses would not be able to run. If electricity went out, the world would literally shut down. So like, you never know what could happen. World War Three, you know, there's a, there's a lot of things, guys. You may not realize it, but every day when you're driving down the street, you're probably passing a building just like this. And when the apocalypse comes, which it will, you gotta have somewhere to go, right? Because all the homes are gonna get looted by gangsters like me. So you should always be aware of the places in your area that can be used as resources. And so today, obviously, we're at Kmart. Let's go shopping. Was that good? Was that do good? Yeah. And that right there is how we're gonna get in. Do I just crawl in? Yeah. Someone's gonna have to hold it open. I mean. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I should have brought a flashlight. It's a little wet. All right, we're gonna go. Oh, is this a conveyor belt? But what? I could use it as a slide. This is sick. Yo, fuck? we can make this a basketball court. Oh, dude, I think like this is refrigeration. For where they put the bodies. <laughs> In Kmart? Yeah. We're gonna go upstairs. Oh, I think I see somebody. What? Just kidding. <laughs> I wanna break something. <laughs> hey, reminder, when you're exploring places that aren't yours, don't break anything. It's not nice. But if you find a pull-up bar, do pull-ups. We still gotta go to the gym today. Get your lazy butts into the gym, work out, take some creatine, and ultimately the best way to survive the apocalypse is to subscribe because I make videos like this for you guys. Is that a car? What? Probably not. I don't have my glasses on, so. Bro. I can't believe this place is just sitting here empty. Guess we can go down now. Okay, at this point, I'm not even, I don't even care. If there's somebody else here, they know we're here. That looks creepy. If there's security cameras, are definitely. There's definitely homeless people living back there. So you saw someone? Yeah, I heard people like moving around. I saw a foot. I'm putting him in front because he's bigger than me and his life is less valuable to me than mine. I'm just kidding. He's my brother. I love him. Dude, I kind of need a pee. Dude, they ruined the urinal. What the heck? What the heck? Dude, I'm so scared I'm going to like see a body in here. Somebody got angry. Somebody has anger issues. Hey, but you can still wipe the baby's butt. Oh man. Dude, it's a whole other big room. Hazardous waste. Oh my god. What's in here? We could die if we go in there. Fire extinguisher is very hazardous. Yo, hey, it's a bathroom. The toilets are intact. Yo, could I pee in here? Uh, let's see if it'll flush. Nope, we're out of luck there. Now it's really hazardous in here. Look, a TV. Oh yeah. Hello. Okay, so basically, over there, there's people. There's people back there, so I'm not going back there. Over here, I don't know. We'll see. I think I heard like a laugh over there. Probably I'd be laughing at us too. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder if it's still open. Dude, we need to go. We need to go. Dude, 
it's another blockade. I'm telling you, there's people back there. <laughs> <laughs> no mud on the pants. All right, well, we're back out in um, society, I guess. I'm not gonna... What? You got stuff all over your pants. Are you guys like that? 